Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and in today's 12 days of Christmas video with Glowforge, we are doing these Christmas gift tags. So we have three different designs here and I'm going to show you how to add your own text on these on Inkscape. So first on Inkscape, when you open up Inkscape, it'll look like something like this. And if you download the file, it'll come in like this as well. So I have these with different colors, as you can see, I have pink, dark green, and light green, just because uh, Glowforge will read that as different uh, pieces so that it will engrave the pink first and then the green and then the light green. So it's not gonna go all the way across and take longer. So anyway, to add text to it, go to the left-hand side, create and edit text objects. And then once you click on that, click anywhere on your screen and just start typing. And then up top here is where you can select what kind of font you want. So text, text and font. And I already have it up here, but a box will come up like this on the right hand side and you can download fonts online if you want a certain font. And I'm going to just go ahead and use this ink free right here, which it already defaulted to, but you can see that it'll change as you select a different one. So hit apply and then it'll change to whatever font you want. And then you go to path and object to path select the selector tool right here on the left hand side so that you can select it and go ahead and lock the the text up here just so it won't distort it when you move it around so you can see it's um, correctly moving so we're going to go ahead and move this drag it over to wherever we want it i already put the text on these tags but as you can see i could just move it where i want to move it and size it with these arrows, however big or small I want to make them. And then you're just gonna go ahead and select a color for engraving. You can do whatever color you want. You can leave it black, black if you want, but since I have these, this one as pink, you can select it as pink so it will all engrave at the same time. So you can go down here and just select pink or right click and set fill for the fill color. And that is how you add text. All right, here are the finished tags. So I did this on 1 8 inch birch plywood and I ended up, ended up putting the circular piece on here, which is included in the file, just to give it that finished tag look. I did that on 1 16th inch mirrored acrylic. I did that in silver. I also did one in rose gold and one in gold, just because I had these colors and I wanted to use one of each. So as you can see, it came out pretty crisp and nice. And these can actually be resized. Um, these are about 2.6 inches and you can resize them however size, whatever size you want. These are kind of on the bigger side. So if you want to make them smaller, you can do that too. So I hope you enjoyed that. All right, thanks for watching. One more thing, what's really nice about these tags, you can fit about 14 of these on one sheet of wood. I use birch plywood and that cost me about $5 for the sheet. And say if I'm going to sell each of these for $10, that's $140 per sheet. So that's like 96% profit right there. So that's really nice about these things. Uh, they don't take up much room and they're a good profit margin. So if you're interested in making these yourself, I'll have the file in the description box below on where you can purchase it. And if you would like to purchase your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code. That's also in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I truly appreciate. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.